bit like swell shot. Welcome Finding Joe crew, welcome to what plans to be an awesome morning out here on the water. Finally the bands have lifted and as I'm looking at the screen I can see a couple of little waters there. I just uh, fixed that up. Yeah, the bands have lifted for the coronavirus and we're finally out here on the water. My name's Anthony, aka Muffin Man as they like to call me. Just gagging. And I'm joined by the captain today in all his glory. As you can see, broken foot. Broken, sorry, can't speak. I'm that excited. Bro broken foot. Got there eventually. Broken foot and all. We managed to actually throw him in the boat. Just sit him in the captain's chair all day. And he'll be happy. So what would you rather be? Would you rather be at home with a broken foot or out in the water? That's what I said to him this morning. He said, you know what? I'd rather be in my captain's chair. It's where I belong. So that's where he is. So for those that... Uh, for those that are interested, we're actually on the edge of Cape Willamai. As the sun's coming up, we're on the edge. So at the edge of Cape Willamai there, as you can see, and we're about to rig up, throw some bait over, and we're gonna catch ourselves a flurry Rascal. of wrasse, those rascally wrasse. And out there somewhere is our offshore reef, which we're gonna sit there and catch our gummies. Welcome, thanks for watching. So I'm like, backwards and forwards, I don't know which one to go for. So I've got bait on this one, I've got the sabiki on that one. We're already starting to fill up the bait tank. Cat just had a massive uh, bite on his 100 year rod. Might have been a decent wrasse on this one. I don't know if it just got bit then, or I've still got something on there. Something's definitely, oh yeah, we got a fish on. Got a fish on, fish on. What do we got? That's, uh, hopefully it's a nice wrasse. Juicy blue throat wrasse will be lovely for our gummy this morning. There we go. Lovely. And there, there you go. Nice blue throat wrasse, as you can see. The blue on their throat. Makes sense, doesn't it? And that is going to get us a decent gummy. Look at that white. Maybe I caught the bottom. Some of those blue throat weed. I don't know. What have we got? You can see it coming up on the, on the oil, man, on the sounder. I think these are perch. Yeah, perch. Quick, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they're uh, the female barb perch. Well, uh, look at this. <laughs> Ah, Just uh, for a make sure you stand up and you don't fall down. Yep. So a couple of blue throat wrasse in the one. We've almost got our quota of uh, gummy bait, I'd say. Yep. Certainly stocked up. It's pretty We're good, eh? Using hey? some uh, antique, no. antique rods. Real light, 1931. It's a little extreme for what you're trying to do here, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but I want to have a go. I mean, look how thick that rod is. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's kind of matching, I suppose. Yeah. There's one big Port Jackson. Massive. Huge! That is a big fish. That is the biggest Jackson I've ever seen. Hey, look at the mouth! Another piece of rubbish. <laughs> Frank's, look at Frank's disgusted, he's flown off. <laughs> like, nah, this guy just lost his touch. <laughs> you just see him turn around and start swimming back. That was a decent shot. Yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, well, there's seven gillers, they say these gummies. There's gummies, yep. There was a caps just throwing down a massive. <laughs> it was a big bait. We knew it. We called it, didn't we? Massive wrasse, bit of bait, just massive chunk. I mean, look at that. That, that excites me now. Look at the head on that. Uh, it's just that's the head of the wrasse. It's a big one. 
Big like that one. Just brought up a massive, probably three metre, seven gillar then. Let it go and it started swimming around the boat. Yeah, it wasn't happy. You wanted to taste me, I feel. I feel like I've uh, let the people down. I should have been filming that. And it's only just starting to sort of come on heat yeah. as we speak, I think. Good signs, though. Getting that. <laughs> it's always the super light rod. So uh, basically, uh. I've got a. Seven to twenty-one grams. <laughs> Three to six kilo rod. And I thrown it down there and I Oh that could I be a gummy. Be a gummy here. <laughs> that could be an absolute Fuck, I'm running out of line. <sighs> Just tighten your drag a little bit. But you won't bust that. If it's forty pound braid, you won't bust that. Steel oh. trace. Hundred pound braid. Oh yeah, no, fuck. Just fucking <laughs> Just electric winch it in. Oh, fuck, it did! Did it? Spewing! I'll oh, take me a couple of minutes to get over that, I think. <laughs> Far out. There's no point hanging a rod over the edge, there's no fucking line. No, no. <laughs> look at him. The stroke. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. The look of dejection. <laughs> I honestly didn't think it was going to break that line. Look at that fucking... 100 pounds! <laughs> 100 pound! 100 pound line! Uh, what is it? 250 pound buyer trace. Nothing's breaking this. Sting! <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's take it easy. Just massage your Massage. You gotta massage it up. Yeah, what a ripper. Let's take the time. This is great. I hope it's yummy. He's already burning I'm out. I'm already fucked. <laughs> <laughs> We've already wound up and down a hundred uh, times today. Yeah, let's out of practice. Yeah, let's take it easy. If she keeps on peeling line, maybe just button that drag up a touch. He's gassed. He's already gassed. <laughs> no, you don't want to just, like, apparently, I've watched a few times. Oh, have you? Not from myself, just oh. experts. I was going to say, I'll watch mainly us. <laughs> 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 and they say that you can a little bit of tension on them, but not really sort of reef out of them, you know, because they don't want to... You don't massage them. I like know. to massage the fish up. Just in its own time. I don't want to rush it. It's like when you wake up in the morning. You know what I mean? Yeah, gumbo. Just tighten that drag a fraction for me, will you? Oh, I'm starting to get nervous on the amount of line nervous. on there. Well, <laughs> about. Yeah. I'm already 30 metres of water. Yeah. What a cracker. What did I say before though? Yeah, uh, you said you'll get it on the little I one. I said you'll get it on, if you drop that down with a decent piece of bait, 100%, you have to catch the one, the only gummy we've seen all day. So basically we've got the two Therese's there, I've got the 20,000, the 10,000 uh, Saragossa. Both sides. 80 pounds <laughs> with uh, with an Ato Gamagatsu hook. Switch me. And here we've got the 4,000 Stratic Shimano. With some cheap eBay hooks, oh. <laughs> and it's Rummy. the only one. Oh, it's it's gummy. It looks like it's got fins braid or something on it. Oh, it's got fins and braid. I'll be tight with the drag. It's got 11 kilos of drag, that real. It's my second rod, by the way. <laughs> you broke your other broke one the doing the same one. thing last week or the week when we were out. It cost me 100 bucks for both the rod. <sighs> it's not bad, really. 100 bucks. Oh, uh, they had a discount at BCF. Get down to BCF. BCF? BCF, BCF bro. <laughs> got some good bargains on. I got the extra um, kilos on this one. I think the last one was one to two. I didn't have it, so I was on a three to six on this one. Three to six kilos. So we just got a little bit extra front. I'm starting to go away that way now. I'm going to fire this coming out. Okay. Get it up and some wood for a rat. It is showing characteristics of the gummy going with the current. Current? Yeah, smart. Yep. Where's the current going? Oh, I. Of course, 
land. Oh, stick this one, please. Well, wow. if I break it, I'm taking it back. I'm just yanking it in hand by hand. Just wrapping it around you. Okay, I'll get a massage this time. You yeah. know, like the video you did. Yeah. Your well, with, with the other massage, little yeah. rod. Yeah, yeah, that's right. After this massager in here, what do they do with the drink? More importantly. Ah. I'm just massaging it up with the swell, so the swell comes up. Yeah, that's it. Really. Just take it easy. Don't, don't upset the fish. I don't want to upset the fish. Like I've got Frank next to me there. All right, I've got the net going. Frank ready to run. Yep. He's giving me some encouragement. Yeah, yeah Frankie. He goes out the back just somewhere. He okay, must have gone and watched it. Oh, kicks on it, but we have been catching some really decent bloody Port Jackson. Port Jackson. Oh, yes, so. How am I lucky to be Port Jackson? I'm ready to swoop in. I'm gonna take oh, all yeah. the glory. All yep. the glory? Yeah, 100%. Like, yeah, I've got it in the boat. Yeah, I needed it. Well, talk to the people at home. I'm trying. To, what yeah. are you feeling? Get the sore shoulder. <laughs> Get the sore shoulder. Right. So, if anybody at home knows any good chiropractors, let us know. EJ? Yeah, EJ. Yeah, shout out. What is it? Body Co? Body. Body Core. Body, body Core? Yeah. Body Co, I think. Body EJ, co. if you're out there. Sorry, DJ. I don't Sorry, know mate. the name of your business. <laughs> Oh, it's come back. I'll look it up in a minute. We'll do a shout out. I feel like getting towards the top now. Yeah, well, I can't see it on the sand or anymore. Can we see any colour yet? Oh, no. Saw the oh, boat well, and you it. ran. Saw the boat and you ran away. Run away. That's it. Just take your time, Uncle Lawrence. Don't rush at me. Trying. Yeah, trying. You sound like you're puffing. You're out of condition. I'm out of condition for fishing. Yeah. <laughs> out of condition for fishing. Uh, all right, I'll double handle it. Double handle it. Hey, no, it's two That's hands. Lean back. Oh yeah. Just sort of lifting it, and I've got colour. I've got a little bit of colour. What colour? Light colour. Yeah, that looks like a good fish. That is a gumbo. Keep going. That is. Yeah, no, nah, it's a gumbo. I can see the dorsal. Bring her up. These are up. That is a good gummy. It's a cracker. Absolute cracker. Good job. Bring her in. It's a fucking ripper size. Oh, look, this is this one. This one. This one. That is an absolute cracker. Oh, we're still going. Good job, man. I'll give you that. That is a cracker. Ah, out. Right. That's a good effort. That is a good effort, man. That is a cracking effort. Wait till we pull this one in and give it a measure. Pull this gummy in. Can you even get it in? I will. Busting the net. Oh, that is a. That's actually a good size. That's, that's a good size too. gum, that one. Mate, tiny little setup. Well. So basically, we've had one in the boat. I haven't even had a chance to no, sort of bleed I it. I will do that. There, kind of oh, sorry. Just a wild mess. Just a wild mess. Canadian whiskey. Wild mess. Oh, you fight this fish. Good fish, bro. Thanks, mate. That's the second run. Second run. Yeah. Let him run a little bit. Get him tired. I don't want him green at the boat. The last time I nearly tore mine. Stomach off. With, with the net. Oh, that's right, with the net. Yeah, it wasn't clear. Vicious. There he is, a handful. I don't know what's going on here, but wrapping around his shirt. Oh, I'm knackered here. You might have to just cut your line, Lawrence. Oh, fuck! Ah, ah, that's hurting bad. 
turn the fucking thing, it's grabbed on my skin. Fuck. Let's <laughs> we'll just cut your line so we can pull him in, yeah? Oh, he's not even in the net. Well, I need that off. That was shit. I'm gonna hit my arm into the fuck. Beautiful. Where is he? It's there. He's on cord, I can't get him off me at all. It's just wrapped around. It's just chewed around. It wasn't great, was it? But I like how you highlighted it twice, that, that chump. <laughs> God, it was a... <laughs> uh, what a ripper. What did uh, you say? I'm up. still tired from getting my gummy in. Now the captain's onto a beast. Good head knocks. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. Look at him go. Look at that. Oh, shit. Fuck, here we go. <laughs> Look at him go. It's like rides of shit. Your gummy's on the floor. I don't want to come in, though. Big. Now you can just yank on it. Fuck. Get out of here. Alright, let's get our baits down ASAP. There he is. Oh, that is so good. Look at that. Yeah, look at him. He's biting them. There he is. Look, he's got him. He's got him. He's got one by the head. Obviously like swell sharks. Yeah. Let me change the speed. It is on high. It says low. Oh, low. Oh, oh, that's a ray, huh? That's something fucking nasty. That was the vi most vicious run <laughs> I've ever had. Gone? Damn. That was absurd. I don't know, it's braid. Must have taken me to the roof. Right in uh, Bass Strait on Western Port entrance, uh, Western Port Bay, the Western, the Western entrance. This afternoon. Now we've headed off to the Nobbies around to the left hand side of uh, <laughs> the Alma Nob, yeah, I am this morning. Uh, the left hand side of Seal Rock and Nobbies where they go and see the penguins. And towards the left there, we went in close and we filled our bait tank with some wrasse. And then we've headed to our fa well, we've headed to a brand new spot today actually, which was just full of swell sharks or draft board sharks. So unfortunately, we've moved and we've headed towards Cape Shank. Now, the captain has actually learnt something today, that you can go from what it is now, marine terms, or in our terms, a glass out, almost. Look how magnificent that is. And literally, 14 k's over that way, is high winds, and just absolutely horrendous chop that you could not sit in. So we've come back just in front of Seal Rock, and we found ourselves up. Found ourselves a brand new contour that we haven't actually fished before, so we've uh, reset ourselves and we're going to drop down. Well, we've actually dropped down, drop down some fresh wrasse, and we're going to sit here and see how we go. 
So hopefully the next time I'm talking to you, we'll be us pulling in a decent sized gummy. So hopefully the, uh, hopefully the payoff. Yeah, all we want is one, isn't it? It's moving to this spot. Should be so. Oh. What's, is there something I can help you with or? Yep. Oh, um, don't tell me. Yep. <laughs> You're not having, not having much luck with your ties. No, it's not broken. A bit off. A bit him off. Oh, that's good signs. Well, it's good signs. Though. Good signs. Oh, Keep positive. Oh well. He just went for his run and just yeah, bit it off. Run and I didn't put too much pressure on him either. I thought oh, I'll just let him run, let him wear out. Nope. Ah, uh, so the ones you missed that just keep you excited, isn't it? So it gives us that little glimmer of hope that we're... You know when you go to a brand new spot and you're not sure if it's actually going to work or not and you finally get something big on, even though you got bit off, it still gives you that glimmer of hope that actually there's going to be a gummy down there for sure. Because wherever there's seven gills, school sharks, there's always going to be that gummy down there as well. So we're hanging in there, we've still got another Two hours, two and a half hours worth of light, I think. Ah, uh, that capped up what was an incredible, incredible day. So surreal out in Bass Strait at the moment. Just incredible, the sun's going down. Absolutely flat as a tack. Incredible afternoon, we sat out there for basically eight hours. We got one gummy and watched the seven gill attack a draft board shot right on the boat. So that was, that was pretty good. Well, what an incredible afternoon on the water. Obviously the highlight for me was catching that gummy. And on a squid rod, a three to six kilo squid rod. It's always the way, isn't it? Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. And if you did, make sure you hit the like button. We've got some big things coming up soon. But we need you to hit that subscribe button and get that subscribe count above the 1,000. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. That is it from me. I hope to see you out there somewhere in the big blue.